There are two ways to know you are in ketosis. You can feel it or you can measure it. Measuring is the most certain way, but you will need to buy some equipment for testing urine or breath or blood. Well, we will get to that in the second half of the video. However, you don't need to buy anything in order to feel that you are in ketosis. So how does it feel? First of all, many people experience a marked reduction in hunger. You just don't need to eat as often anymore and cravings are reduced. Secondly, people often feel an increase in energy levels, perhaps even thinking more clearly. There may even be some euphoria. So those are all good things, but a bit unspecific. For example, many things can make you feel good, not just ketosis. There are a few more specific things, more objective, that can give you a strong clue that you are in ketosis. First of all, you will have an increased urination. You will have to go to the bathroom a bit more often. This is because ketones end up in the urine and this will secondly increase your thirst. And you might feel a dry mouth if you drink not enough. Some people also experience a sort of metabolic taste in the mouth. If that happens, it's a clue that you are in ketosis. Finally, as we talked about before, there may be some acetone or ketone escaping in the breath. Smelling sort of fruity or even similar to nail polish remover. This is often temporary and usually goes away after some time. But if you have a significant other or similar who can check your brief and you have this smell, that's pretty much 100% guarantee that you are in ketosis. So that's the free test. Okay, so that's how ketosis feels. But if you really want to track your exact keto levels, you have to measure them. Note that this is usually not necessary. You don't have to measure ketones to be successful on a keto diet, but it can be helpful for some people to make sure that they are doing it right. There are three different ways to measure ketones. Measuring the three different keto molecules in the body. You can test urine, breath or blood ketones. First, the urine testing using urine strips. This is the simplest and cheapest way to do it. Just dip a strip in urine, wait for 50 seconds and the color changing to dark purple shows you if you are in ketosis. If you have the ketone body called acetoacetate in your urine, you can get these strips cheaply at a regular pharmacy or via Amazon. The cons is you don't get an exact measurement because the concentration of ketones in your urine depends on a lot on how much fluid you do drink and it can get lower over time as your body adapts to ketosis and the kidneys start saving the ketones. It tells you very roughly how deep into ketosis you have been since last time you went to the toilet. So this is not the perfect test, but it's cheap and simple and for most people is all they need if they even need to test. Breath testing, breath ketone analyzers are a fair, simple way to measure ketones, acetone in your breath. They are more expensive though and can cost $170 and up. However, if you get one, you can use it any number of times, so it's a one-time cost. There is also some practice involved to get a correct measurement you will have to breathe out all the air in your lung. Kind of hard work. The newer version, you can connect them to an app on your phone and it will show you your current level of acetone in your breath. There are some circumstances where the breath measurement won't be accurate. So it's not a perfect test, but it's pretty good if you can afford it and it measures the amount of active ketones going on right now. So that's a bonus. Finally, there are blood ketone meters. There are several brands. They are the most exact and show the current buffered level of ketones in your blood. The beta hydroxybutylene rate. The main disadvantage is that you will have to prick your finger for a drop of blood. 
They are also still a bit expensive. They used to cost about $2 or more per test. So now a new startup offers tests for about $1. So it's getting cheaper. But still, if you do a lot of testing, the cost will add up. So keep that in mind when you choose. With blood testing, you get the current exit value of the buffered ketone, so it reflects exactly how deep into ketosis you have been over the last couple of days. If you get a value over 0.5, you can consider yourself in ketosis. Congratulations! Between 1.5 and 3, it's considered potentially optimal for mental performance and such. And slightly higher is fine too. Usually it's impossible to get higher than 5 or so in ketones. And note that this is still far lower than what people sometimes worry about, ketoacidosis, a dangerous state. But this is pretty much impossible to get on a keto diet. It's something that happens mostly for people with type 1 diabetes who don't get the insulin injections they need. Ketoacidosis happens at over 10 millimolar, usually for higher. So it's something different. If you are interested, use the link in this course for more on this topic. So to wrap up this video, there are two ways to know you are in ketosis. You can feel it, energy focus, lack of hunger, initial increased urination, increased thirst, etc. Or two, you measure it in urine, breath, or blood. Most importantly, you don't have to measure. You should have a reason to do so, even if it's just curiosity or to make sure you are doing keto right. If you are doing well and you are not curious about your exact ketosis number today, you do not have to measure. And that's it for this video. In the next one, we will discuss something a lot of people are interested in. Weight loss on keto. What should you expect? What is normal? And how do you maximize your weight loss or break a weight loss plateau if you need it? I will see you soon in part 7. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.